So we're here at the Intel booth, and I am looking at this is a Lenovo Idea Tab K2110. It's pre-production, right? It is pre-production. Right. Uh, it's a Lenovo Idea Tab K2110, which okay. will come to the market later in this year. And it's got an Intel chip inside. It's got Intel Atom processor, 32 nanometer one called Medfield. Mm -hmm. It's the same platform that goes into the smartphone there. So I'm going to sh show you some of the applications sure. here. So this one is a Google body application. You can see the graphics performance, how fast the rendering is, and the application performances. So that you can see, like, you know, if I'm going to do like zoom in and zoom out with the touch experience, you can see how fast the zoom in and zoom out happens. So you can see the performance, which is what Intel is known for. Mm -hmm. But not only that, we actually get a very good battery performance on this one. What's the battery life? So this one gives the all-day battery life, eight to ten hours, depending upon the usage. Mm -hmm. And 30 days of standby time. Right. And not only that, you actually get a very good form factor out of this one. So this one is an 8.9 mm form factor, mm -hmm. which is very similar to the iPad 2. How's the weight on it? Uh, I don't know the weight on this one. Let's it's, pick uh, it up for a sec. I know it's tethered. Uh, well, yeah, it's tethered. It's so hard to tell. Say. Very hard to tell. Okay. Well, it's very likely. It's, right. It's, it's, it's very competitive to what's out there in the market. So it's, it's running, uh, is it honeycomb there? It's running honeycomb. Okay. I'm sorry, this one is running ice cream sandwich. Okay. And that one over there is running uh, honeycomb. The same hardware, running two different versions of Actually, I wonder. Yeah. This is, yeah. So okay. Uh, it actually, it looks like honeycomb to me. Uh, well, my screen fan and honeycomb yeah. are very similar. Yeah. yeah. So if you look at the, the settings... So it's not a problem for the Android apps to run on x86 then, because they're running in a, a virtual machine, so... Correct. Okay. No, we, we have done a lot of optimizations for Android on x86. Right. You know, all the x86 changes are being now rolled into the Android main code code base. Gotcha. You're, you're right. It is uh, ice cream sandwich. I have four on my smartphone. It looks slightly different. So. Yeah, so I think okay. the, the tablet version is the same. Yeah, so we've done a lot of optimization. We believe that the Android and x86, the optimization we have done is for the best Android performance in the world. And if you can see on the, the lot of things that we've done on the smartphone side, on the tablet side, mm -hmm. to look at the graphics performance, the application performance, sure. the Java optimization, all that we have done is the world class optimization. Can we look at the browser for a second? I know the Wi Fi can be spotty here, so. Yeah, this uh, Wi Fi can be spotty here. So this one is the BBC website here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the website just to show you. I think the half the web page loading is depending upon, of course, the Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Sure. Once the connectivity goes through, I think the, the web page will load very fast. Mm -hmm. So, so where's the advantage then with the um, the Intel over an ARM-based processor? Is it overall performance? Is it graphics? What's what's the Intel's stance here? Well, we're, we're competitive on the battery life, mm -hmm. but they're better on the performance. Right, and it's not only that, we're coming out with uh, other technologies on top of that, what we call experiences. So our Medfield platform will support wireless display. So if you, we have announced uh, OEMs, TV OEMs will be in, you know, putting wide eye into their TVs. So LG, Samsung and others. So you we're can also just type the uh, video to a TV, for example, over exactly. wide eye. Right, and so we're also showing in our wide eye booth, the Netgear box and at and box. box. Right. All the at and boxes will be upgraded to wide eye. So if you're an AT&T customer, you can go, go in with the tablet mm -hmm. and you can basically push the content onto the TV. Same thing with the Netgear boxes and all this LG, Samsung TVs, that the new ones that are coming out, the wide eye built in. So your experience at home mm -hmm. is much better. So there's another application that I haven't shown here, is, but we also have an application for Splash Talk. Yes. So right now it's not running the desktop. If I have the desktop running over there, you can I can pull up it. the Splash Talk. Yeah. And basically, you know, let's say if you're sitting on the couch, you want to see something on your computer, mm -hmm. you go from the Splash Talk here, and you basically pull up the files from your PC. Right. Gotcha. Now, when do the Medfield products come out? Is the first half of the year, are they thinking? Or? The first half of the year, sure. Or towards the middle of the year. Is that the same chip that's going to be in a few of the smartphones as well? Exactly. I heard about the, uh, the deal with Motorola and LG, so it's supposed to be Medfield based. Yes. So it'd be the same chip exactly? It's the same exact chip, but it's a different platform. It's right. a tablet platform versus a smartphone. Sure. So we have a different reference design for this versus that. Understood. Understood. But I'm curious, how big is the, uh, the Medfield system on a chip there? Uh, the size? Yeah. I do not know. Yeah, it's got to be small if it's going in the smartphone. It is mode. small. Yeah. Sure. So, okay. Well, it looks very peppy in terms of performance. I've used a lot of the ARM-based tablets, and this definitely looks at least as comparable, if not as better, especially in the graphics. So. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.